Kotika TV Africa New Age of TV Welcome to Kutika TV Africa and I am your host Jacqueline Nakaba. Welcome to another exciting and amazing episode where we'll be having a chat with an amazing gentleman all the way from the city of Ndola, you know, doing amazing things, you know, in the uh, entertainment industry and just other aspects. He is an entrepreneur and he has been doing amazing work. And I'm excited to have a chat today with him because me, who's trying to dive into the entrepreneurship, see, I believe I'm going to be motivated, informed, as well as, you know, just encouraged to just continue doing what I'm doing and just, you know, upgrade my game. So we'll be able to have a chat with him just after this break. Stay tuned. Kotika TV Africa. New age of TV. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, if you are just joining us, this is Kutika TV Africa and we are having our usual talk shows where we get to, you know, talk to people who are just, you know, impacting and infiltrating, you know, different types of spheres. And today in the studio we have uh, a young man, <laughs> yeah, by the name of uh, Young Inch, who has been, you know, just doing amazing things, you know, with uh, artists, you know, and just basically doing amazing things in the aspect of intro, uh, entrepreneurship. So ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen help me welcome the young inch <laughs> thank you very much thank you very much I'm you are humbled. welcome yeah i'm just so happy to have you today really yeah i don't, I don't even know why you thought of me you know <laughs> <laughs> you know i have been doing your amazing work you know mm. You know, just um, in the entertainment industry precisely, you know, mm -hmm, I've yeah. heard of you from people like Zira, from people like um, Paul Elsie, mm -hmm. you know, from Young Kush, and just seeing your face on, you know, posters and whatnot, I was really excited when I was told that I was going to have a chat with you today because I believe you have a lot of things for people like me. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. Yeah, so, yeah, I think you can just introduce yourself for the sake of people who don't know you, you know, just a brief, you know, introduction. Yeah. Oh, my name is uh, Young Inch, and I'm, I'm an entrepreneur and entertainment CEO and then wow. capital security CEO as well. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the CEO. So, well, uh, have you always been in Ndola? Maybe you can tell us about Born your... and in Wow. Yeah, okay, yeah. you know, because we usually, anyway, it's during for another day. Yeah. But can you just tell us about, you know, your background, you know, how you were raised, how you became a CEO, you know, and just how your journey has been. Yeah. Mm, okay, I was, uh, I was born in Ndola. Okay. And uh, I come from a family where I did like partying that type of thing, okay. clubbing, yeah. Because if I tell you I don't drink, you won't, you won't believe that. Mm. So that's where I come from. <laughs> I know, I know. People will judge, you know, because they'll be like, yeah, in two events, and then how come you don't drink, exactly. you know? Yeah, so it was that kind of thing whereby I just used to watch things on TV, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, that's just the way it was. I mean, for the entertainment or what? Uh, I think over everything. And then the, this leadership thing, I think, started way back in school. Okay. Because wow. I remember in grade 8 and 9, mm -hmm. I introduced music club at my school. Wow. I never introduced it. What school was that? Uh, that was NTS. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in grade 10, again, I just reached, I just reached and then that was, uh, I just said, okay, this guy, we have heard about him. Mm -hmm. want him to be the school council chairman. Wow. From there, again... 12 they selected me to be to, to be a president. Wow. Yeah, so for me I think this entertainment thing mm -hmm. I've been like it's just an inborn thing. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Just hear my wows have been wowing everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh what about your interest? You know, I know you've talked about the entertainment industry, but you know, interest, talent, skills, okay for now we can put away the skills, but you know, talent, interest, you know, just all those things. I think it just it just have that passion for music. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Do you also sing or rap? I, have you ever rapped? I think I can say I'm a songwriter. Wow. I can rap, but mm -hmm. I want to be in the studio tonight. <laughs> you know? I want oh, to do that. Interesting. So yeah. yeah, so how did you how was your 
entrepreneurship journey because I'm just reading entrepreneurship all over you, you know, apart from your leadership skills and whatnot, but just about entrepreneurship. So how has been your journey? When did you start? How did you start? Were you mentored at some point? So maybe you can just also touch on that. Uh, it has been rough. Okay. Yeah, I would say it was, it was very tough. Okay. Like in Dola, you know, because okay. I didn't want it to like relocate. Okay. I just go to the circle because I thought maybe that's where uh, Mm -hmm. Things will wake up for mm -hmm. me, but I just said, No, I can't go to the circle. Mm -hmm. It's like I want to shine, mm -hmm. like someone's house. I go and shine to someone's house, but by maybe any you know what I mean? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I said, Okay, I'll just do it from here. Because mm -hmm. I remember way back 2017, mm -hmm. I just said, Okay, let me try to organize an event. Wow. And then I said, Okay, guys, uh, there's this thing that I want to do. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make a uh, faust this week. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then it didn't work out because I didn't have that experience. Okay. And then it flopped. And then people were like, ah, but we wanted to come for the fire to this, but you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I I, I organized guys and say, okay, those people who think we can do this, let's try to do something. And then I hosted like the first event was the old black party. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we just found it a nice house, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And then that's why we just said, okay, let's try to do something. We're not going to start. We want to make a color first, mm -hmm. but let's just let's try uh, the whole black, the whole black party. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from there, we advertised, and I didn't even I didn't even know that oh, people will come. Sure. That, yeah, we printed too much tickets. You know what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then on the actual day, I was just shocked. Well, by maybe around 13 mm -hmm. people, no one was there. I was like, we ah, okay. to what? Mm -hmm. And then we wanted to do the color first, so mm -hmm. I was scared. I said, mm, what if? We are thought to do this kind of small party. One of the colors. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I'm um, 18. Mm -hmm. I went inside now, I went to change. Mm -hmm. And then people were just like, Inch, we need more tickets. Wow. Someone came, one of my mm -hmm. colleagues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you need more tickets? Mm -hmm. People are outside. So mm -hmm. the party was just like in 30 coach. Wow. And then now we started, look, increase the price. Mm -hmm. I, I went out and just, just increased the price. Mm -hmm. People started paying 50 coaches. Mm -hmm. From there, I went outside around 14, 30. I was shocked up by it. it was like a street party. <laughs> we, we blocked the roads, you know what I mean? And then I was like, we're not going to handle this. Because me and you know, all these people have been to this yeah. okay. We managed, we collected the permit and all that. But you know, again, you need you need security. It's yeah. not about collecting the permit and all that. Mm -hmm. Then the police now came in. Wow. Around 15, we had about maybe 1,000, 1,000, close to 1.2 thousand people. Wow. And I was like, hey, what are we going to do? <laughs> the police came in, they said, who, who are the organizers for this event? And then I said, okay, I'm the one. Yeah. Who are there? Mm -hmm. Who are locked out? Who are locked up? Me, I wasn't. <laughs> my, my friends were there. They said, who's the CEO? Okay. There was someone who was acting like a CEO, and then he said, who's the CEO? Then me, I managed to, like, they just said, okay, you go. Mm -hmm. Your friends, mm -hmm. they'll remain. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how I think I said, okay. Because I wanted to do something. Mm -hmm. And I think I can do better than this. Okay. Let me just try to. I I, I saw my mistakes and I thought like, instead of me making events mm -hmm. in homes, maybe let me try to use a bigger venue. Okay. That's when I now went to say, okay, let's do a color festival. Oh wow! So we're gonna touch that. But when was the um, the whole event organized? The whole scenario? When did it happen? You know, the black party. You know, mm -hmm. set up. That is uh, March. It was twenty seventeen. Oh wow! So basically, that's when your entire journey started, right? Yes, maybe yes, yes. No, no, no. That was our first event as in entertainment. Okay. So apart from that, I'll tell who motivates you because I believe there are people you get to watch, people you get to see, people you get to interact with that have actually motivated you to, you know, to do these things. So who has really motivated you on this path, and how have they, you know, impacted your journey? Yeah. Uh, when it comes to events, I don't think there's some. Okay. <laughs> no, but other things like maybe uh, managing artists, mm -hmm. I would say people in the industry. Okay. Because the way I see it, mm -hmm. like if you hear to say he's an upcoming, mm -hmm. you consider them to be like maybe you see them like to be substandard. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. so I was like, okay, let me try to start helping the upcoming artists. Okay. Wow. Because it's not easy being an upcoming. I know what they go through. You know, I've been there before. Yeah, so I just said, let me try to help out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. So you also talks about you coming from a home yeah. where, you know, they don't allow such things. Yeah. How did your family take it? Looking at the fact that you, you 
you know, started a journey that yeah. they were not in support of, you know, how they take it and what kept you going because I believe there was some sort of opposition, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. Especially my dad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, no, just, okay, mm, it wasn't easy because I remember the time I was hosting the Color Fest, mm-hmm. a lot of things happened and then they were just like, you should stop this. We don't want you to do this. We want you to go to uni, you know? Okay. And then I said, like, this is my passion. We don't want you to go to uni. Wow. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. I want, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm at, I'm at the university right now, not because I want to, I just want to prove them to say I can do everything, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so it wasn't easy because every time I say I'm making an event, they would be like, we're not going to bury out mm-hmm. wow. this time, you know what I mean? So I just, let me prove them wrong. It's not about, things have started changing, you okay. need to understand. Okay. If I don't do it, who's going to do it? Exactly. Especially when it comes to like, come about the entertainment, I'll say, mm-hmm. Nothing is happening. Okay. Like, we are the ones who are putting the copper boat on the map. So I said, wow. if I don't do it, who's going to do it? Mm-hmm. So that was my love motivation. Spirit. I love the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people are getting motivated, to be honest. You know, because you're telling me a lot when you're in university, right? Yeah. yeah. Which university is that? I see. Information yeah. and Communication University. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Some of us, our parents have to test or take us to university, then you can do other things. Actually, like that. I took myself to uni. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I took myself to uni because I wanted to prove to them to say, mm-hmm. the reason why I'm doing this, mm-hmm. I'm doing it because I want to do this. Mm-hmm. I said, okay, keep your money. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do this. Because then they wanted me to go do something with them, so they don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. You pursued your passion. Yeah. You know, I believe you're inspiring someone out there who's already watching this show. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. You know, the funny thing was, you know, parents sometimes they tend, don't tend to understand us. You know, first of all, they want you to go and study what they want. Feel like, yo, you have to do this. This is the only thing that's going to give you money, you know, this and this and that. But mm-hmm. I love your stance and I love that there was, you know, a visible vision that you are pursuing, which is now, you know, um, being visible yeah. so also let's talk about ME entertainment <laughs> yes <laughs> ME entertainment what is ME entertainment for someone out there who's so interested yeah ME entertainment mm-hmm. what the latest video just basically ME entertainment the letters and what it is um ME entertainment means uh national events entertainment wow. yeah so we're an event company we do events mm-hmm. maybe now promoting artists a record label mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah so uh again it's a marketing company we do marketing and we do strategic planning for companies okay yeah so if, for instance if you want to launch your this something that you want to launch mm-hmm. yeah you can call us for that and then we really help out like orphans mm-hmm. charity organization mm-hmm. yeah we help out orphans yeah mm-hmm. disabled you know what i mean yeah wow. okay we do a lot of things i'm actually happy that you know your entrepreneurship is not only based on you but you're actually reaching out to people who are less privileged you know which is a very amazing thing keep it up so what are your responsibilities as uh, the ceo of in, in entertainment mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can just highlight a few yeah mm-hmm. okay uh for now now it's something that i need to like i need to do for instance if there's an event coming up mm-hmm. i need to make sure to do the strategic plan for the event of how the event will go so if that event looks then we'll say the CEO we have always put on say this is what this is how the plan will go. Mm-hmm. So even with the artists, I work with people like uh, Mike and Gesa, mm-hmm. I work with people like Caps, mm-hmm. Kapandi, but they will say inch, what's the plan for this guy? Because mm-hmm. it's not easy managing someone. Mm-hmm. You know, especially with artists and we're saying if we talk about upcoming artists, mm-hmm. I need to like approve I say, okay, how are we going to brand this image? Okay. For instance, I say maybe LZ420 is here. Mm-hmm. We have Kami case and how are we going to brand them? Wow. Because okay. you cannot just start promoting someone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it depends on the type of music they do. Okay. So for instance, if Kami does maybe R&B, mm-hmm. 420 does hip hop. Mm-hmm. How are you going to put LZ420 out there? Oh, wow. Okay. So it's not something that is easy. Mm-hmm. You need to plan and you need to see, okay, how am I going to put this image? How am I going to perfect this skill? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so basically what I do is uh, I do the strategic plan for every artist mm-hmm. under my record label. Again, I'm the one who does the strategic plan for, for the organ for, for the events. Okay. Yeah. 
just me here in strategic plan. For me, for me to learn about strategic plan, I had to go to university. But I'm <laughs> looking at you, I'm like, wow. So how maybe I can just take you back? Yeah. You know, in terms of I I don't know, did you get to study on your own about strategic planning? Because people are now going to you need to actually learn about that. How did you learn about strategic planning? Strategic planning. Okay, I think the time I started, mm -hmm. that was 2017. Mm -hmm. YouTube helped me out. Oh, wow. I used to go on YouTube and mm -hmm. check. This is what you do. And then mm -hmm. 2019, that's when I went to uni. Okay. So like my course that I'm doing, that's when I started now having okay. a lot of knowledge about all these things. Because I'm doing economics. Oh wow. Interesting. Yeah. That's really good. So that's when I said, okay, can now manage your economy. Wow. A lot of artists are going back and used to come. Say, boss, he's Pangian, you know. Mm -hmm. Then you don't have any. Mm -hmm. Pang, how? You know what I mean? So I said, okay, I think I'm now ready yeah. to help out with the uh, with the uh, artists now that are coming. Okay. I, I I remember bro, even Chandanaki. Oh, yeah. For real? Yeah, I remember. Wow. Like okay, for them mm -hmm. it was that kind of thing. One by they wanted show from me. Okay. Every event they see them be like, boss, so let's be can copalist. And I was like, okay, send your music, you know. Mm -hmm. I said, by then, okay, I wasn't just, I didn't just like their music, I won't lie. <laughs> I didn't just like their music, you know. I didn't just like their music, and then there's that kind of thing. Mm. Me, I do family events. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I see you, the type of message they are getting, I'll be like, mm, this, wow. no. Mm -hmm. So they were like, okay, two pine games, so like, <laughs> but I remember the time they made the name started becoming a problem whereby everywhere Chandan I was like, yeah. oh, let's, let, let, let's try to bring these guys to Chandan Because I remember they didn't even say they are like. And then wow. I sell a cold coffee. <laughs> <laughs> a cold coffee, wow. coffee uh -huh. mix. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, okay, there are these guys who are making noise everywhere, you know? Mm -hmm. Chandan Do you have their number? Mm -hmm. Then he was like, okay, yeah, cool. Let me send it on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Then I remember I saved it, mm -hmm. saw the chat. They were like, <laughs> Post to and then I was like, ah, what am I doing? What's happening now? <laughs> Where am I going to start from? Yeah, but I just called them. They were like, okay, boss, yes, boss. Like, okay, you can just talk to our manager. I was just like, okay. Whatever they're going to tell me, I just have to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite interesting. Yeah. So, ah, I have a number of questions that keep on popping up. <laughs> you know, the conversation is quite interesting. So, you talked about the fact that you did not like their music at mm -hmm. first, you know, mm -hmm. because, I don't know, is it because of the vision that you're pushing? You talked about a family events that you actually organized. So, how is it that that changed, you know, because what they were trying to bring on board was yeah. an exact opposite of what no, you were already doing. I don't know. I think they have changed their music. Oh, they have? They have changed their music. Because the music, they, you know what I'm saying, maybe the way we see yeah. upcoming artists, we see oh, them wow. to the you know? Okay. Like, uh, I remember the first song that they did, like, mm -hmm. Don't Fuck Food, I put it, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. And then I was like, I'm doing a kids fest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then me, there are those schools who come here and then they hear that type of music. Oh, so that was my word. Oh, wow. And then I then just tell them to see, hey, guys, mm -hmm. because of this, you know, mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, just everything via any email and then I'll get back to you. Okay. Yeah. So it's a professional world, you know, just handle Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Then let's talk about the vision yeah. for the overall NA entertainment. What's the vision? What agenda are you pushing? I know you talked about the story and whatnot and maybe you have talked about I've talked about mm -hmm. you know you know just in beats but what's the vision as an entertainment? What are you pushing exactly? Uh any entertainment we yeah. are okay for me I think when it comes to events mm -hmm. I won't say we have done a lot, but okay. I think we are we have done at least, you know, mm -hmm. say maybe seventy percent of the work. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. when we talk about bringing international arts, okay. it's not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. Bringing an international artist mm -hmm. in Dola, mm -hmm. it's not easy. <laughs> maybe when you're in Osaka, yeah, yeah but here, mm -hmm. just bringing an international art, it's not something that mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to music, I think I want to help out the entertainment industry mm -hmm. to produce an international art. This is what I tell people. Mm -hmm. The honest truth. The honest truth is, we don't have an international artist in Zambia. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'd be like, what about maybe these guys? Mm -hmm. No, no, yeah. But I'm talking about when I say an international art, mm -hmm. I'm talking about someone like Casper Nastasi. Mm -hmm. okay. Me, I'm a promoter, okay. not just a music manager. Mm -hmm. I'm a promoter. Mm -hmm. So I'll see to say, okay, if I bring, uh, for instance, I say, if I bring or maybe I pay your maps. Mm -hmm. And then I tell my young wife to say, I'm going to pay you for 10 events. Mm -hmm. I want to do one event in Zambia, mm -hmm. one in Ese, mm -hmm. one in Namibia, mm -hmm. one in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Believe you me, we're just going to maybe 
do one event here. Okay. When you go to Namibia, other countries, mm -hmm. it will be like, who's your mom? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we say international, we're not talking about what they're doing. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the influence. Oh, wow. No, yeah. So I think the vision is that I want to produce an international art. Right. Yeah. So right now, mm -hmm. I'm not looking at this. I'm the sound, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, okay, where are we missing? Why okay. can we produce an international art design? Mm -hmm. So right now, the artists that I'm having, mm -hmm. they're not those artists who are by the doing dance or maybe mm -hmm. doing it local. No. I have someone like Kami, mm -hmm. I have someone like Ozzy Port 20, mm -hmm. and then I have someone like Sosik. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You hear their music, there are those who will be like, okay. Well, okay, but mm -hmm. if we try to promote them at an international level, believe you mm -hmm. me, we can manage. Wow. Yeah, so that's my vision. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually having an interesting, you know, just conversation with the CEO. <laughs> I believe we're already making connections. So when I enter in this industry of singing and whatnot, you know, I'll be able to, you know, reach out to him. That's if he wants. <laughs> You know, uh, no, 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 like that. Like okay, so we'll continue this chart just after the break. Stay tuned. Kotika TV Africa, new age of TV. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you are just joining us, this is Katika TV Africa, and I am your host, Jacqueline Nakama. So in the studio today, we have a young man, an amazing person. He calls himself Young Inch, who has been doing a number of things. And if you have been with us from the start, time we started, then I'm sure you're being informed, you're being motivated, and you are being entertained. So before we went on a break, you were talking about entertainment and just a number of things in line with that. Can you also talk about the color fest now? You know, are you the one who's been organizing those shows, or you know, what have you been doing with the color fest? I've been seeing color fest here and there. <laughs> you know, all those things. Mm. Any entertainment is my company. Okay. So if you see any entertainment, meaning mm -hmm. I'm the one behind okay. every event that's happening. Mm -hmm. So for the color fest, I think we've done now. We're doing our fourth edition. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what's the concept behind the whole color fest? Because back then, I've yeah. never attended any of your color fest shows. Serious. Uh -huh. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know, just sure? in my own world, to be honest, <laughs> but I've been seeing what's been happening. Joanna, uh, we often do at the stadium, so all the color festivals are in the end. Really? Anyway. Church. I'm not talking about the church. Anyway, church. you know, because I just used to see, you know, color yeah. festivals, you yeah. know, in Indian movies and whatnot. So when I yeah. started seeing the same shows, in Dola, in Zambia precisely, you know, I was actually shocked. I was like, oh, okay, so we actually have these events around here. And I wanted to really know what they are all about. Because I know mean, yeah, you bring people on board who get to entertain people. I don't know what other activities that take place, but can you just tell us about the color fest and what goes on? Yeah. Okay. Uh, for us, uh, the brand, the trademark for that, mm -hmm. for any entertainment, because a lot of people do color festivals. Okay. So for us, uh, we call it the Big Music Color Festival. Okay. It's a music festival. Okay. So the Color Festival, the plan is uh, what we usually do is that we bring artists from like all provinces, you know what I mean? You know, coming artists and then these big artists. Okay. It's like a music fest and it's a family festival. Okay. Whereby people come, they interact, mm -hmm. they eat, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, you, you bring people together, all races, you know. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we are one. Yeah. Yeah, Indians, whites, blacks. Mm -hmm. So I think such events bring people together. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But why do people splash colors? You know, whatever you do. Yeah, so that's so that that, that yeah, that's 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 the reason. <laughs> that's the reason I'm saying it's mm -hmm. like uh, we it's a family event mm -hmm. and like they, they we unite the nation in some way mm -hmm. because you know don't splash your color mm -hmm. and if you you don't want mm -hmm. you know Indians you know people say racism what and what so. Such events bring people together. Mm -hmm. Even talking, they okay, now I want to, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, in short, I mean, just saying, we bring people together. Okay. Mm, yeah, that's the reason we splash color. Okay, so mm -hmm. are there any like games? Yeah, there are games. There are okay. games. Like, okay. uh, a lot of games that take place at the color list. Okay. For the kids, I think uh, go karts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go karts. Uh, a lot of acrobats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, six aside football, mm -hmm. FIFA games, mm -hmm. you know, maybe for adults, I mean, beer, beer gardens, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, beer games, you know, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so in short, what we try to do there is we try to unite people and the nation. Okay, what about people, elderly people? Can they also attend such shows and just they have attend. fun? They do? <laughs> yes, they do. They do. They do. <laughs> you know, because mm-hmm. looking at you know the elderly, do you yeah. also have things for them that can keep them, you know, entertained and whatnot? Yeah, yeah, music. Music, eh? What I'm saying, so music color, it's not just about color, but even other things. Mm-hmm. So for instance, for for the elderly, maybe we say, okay, let's bring maybe 10 million. Oh, okay. Danny Kaya, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so those people don't come and watch them, you know. Mm-hmm. Those who do Kalindula, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are a lot of activities that take place. Okay, so let's talk about the theme. You know, mm-hmm. you've talked about, you know, the events that take place, the games and whatnot. Yeah. So do you get to buy a ticket and everything is inclusive in there, or maybe the ticket is just for entry, then you have to pay, you know, for other activities that will be taking place inside? Uh, the fee, uh, when you pay, like for instance, mm-hmm. we have been having color festivals. Mm-hmm. So what we did, the one we had was at first 200 people, free color. Wow. Okay. And then those people are going to come, maybe they have to pay, they have to buy the color. Mm-hmm. But what we usually do is that some activities inside, mm-hmm. they have to free. Mm-hmm. Some they have to pay. Okay. Yeah, they have to pay. Okay. Interesting. So do you also have like, you know, the VIP section? The yeah, there's a VIP section. section. Okay. Go and say cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ordinary. Time. I'll attend one of these shows. We just have to. We're having one in April, 30th April. Okay, one. okay. Now let's talk about your entrepreneurship journey. Yeah. How has it been? Looking at the fact that you're a young man, you know, how has been the entrepreneurship journey? Being a young man trying to put things together, you know, how has it been? Have you reached a point where maybe you felt like giving up? You know, how has it been? Uh, if I see. No, not giving up. I won't say giving up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not like up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it has been tough, you know, because mm-hmm. I remember the first event, mm-hmm. the color festival. Mm-hmm. I had a team I was working with, but then they were young. Okay. So, so it was that kind of thing whereby you're trying to do something, and then you are like the oldest, and you need to make you make sure mm-hmm. the move that you're going to make, no one will be affected. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't easy because I remember the first color that I had. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what, maybe we were just young, but I was doing everything alone. So it was that kind of question, you have to collect the police permit, mm-hmm. you have to put like, the stage in place, you know, can you start mounting and all that. I remember we didn't get the color. Oh, wow. And then we only had, I think, two days to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the color, because we just export the color from, uh, oh, we get uh, from SA, we just okay. get from SA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then I didn't know what to do now. Mm-hmm. People have bought tickets, mm-hmm. more than 2,000, I think. And then I was like, what are we going to do? Because mm-hmm. the other guy who I took to say, secure the color, mm-hmm. he didn't manage. Wow. I think that was in test. He just said, no, bro, I don't know what we're going to do. But I don't, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's happening. I've given the people who are supposed to bring the color for me. Say, mm-hmm. But they're not responding, you know. And then I'm like, mm-hmm. what? <laughs> I have to collect the payment, bro. I don't know. But I don't know what I'm going to do. And then I started now making connections. Mm-hmm. I remember ideas go for me. I say, oh, no. And soccer mm-hmm. ideas go, even then they do with soccer color. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I called them. First, I tried to go R and G. They said no, we don't have. Mm-hmm. I tried to go. I think was it uh, the PR? They mm-hmm. said no, we don't have. Then what am I going to hashtag? They said we don't have. Wow. And then we only had the day. Mm-hmm. The color fest was on the Saturday. Wow. What am I going to do? <laughs> uh, then I just said okay, no worries. Mm-hmm. I just managed to collect the permit mm-hmm. from there. I think I started off going to the Saturday zero five. Wow. Zero zero five. That mm-hmm. was on test. Mm-hmm. I reached in the soccer. I started off. I reached in the soccer on seventeen, mm-hmm. and then where I was collecting the color was uh, near the American Embassy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It wasn't an easy thing. I said, "Okay, now what am I going to do?" Mm-hmm. I slept at the station, <laughs> so it was. Wow. <laughs> I slept there because I knew that if I won't get the color, if I go mm-hmm. maybe to my mom's house, mm-hmm. it's going to. You know, yeah. Yeah, time and mm-hmm. Yeah, so I slept there. I didn't tell the guys. Just like, okay, I'm bringing the color. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. And then I, that was Friday. Friday, I managed to get because the time I reached in the circle, they said no, we have doctor. Mm-hmm. So yes, we have the color. So meaning, we just have to come tomorrow morning. And then wow. the color was in the circle. Oh, the color was in the circle. Wow. So I slept there on the station because I knew it was gonna be nearby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then Friday I started off coming to the Lord. I might get the color from there again. It doesn't mean easy, you know, because <laughs> competition and all that, uh-huh, you know, like it doesn't uh-huh, mean easy. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I love that, you know, 
just that we keep on doing sacrifices and whatnot. And I mm. believe we all have to be at that place if we want to see things happen. True, 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 true. You know. So, um, but what are the pros and cons of being in the entertainment industry? Looking at the the stance or the place that you are currently occupying. Yeah. yeah. What What are the pros and cons? Uh, one thing. Okay, let me just let me just put it in this way. The entertainment industry is not easy, right? mm -hmm. as we see it. Because mm -hmm. you know there will be those people who who just start talking about your work. Mm -hmm. Maybe some maybe do a color and then someone just starts insulting. Mm -hmm. Just saying <laughs> on your page, people are just insulting, but you just have to know what you want. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not an easy thing now, but you say, no, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. You just have to be determined. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the good part is that, you know, sometimes it's easy okay. when you want to get connections, you know, you meet a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to say, okay, I'm the one who's doing this, mm -hmm. I'm the one who's, yeah. they can give you easy access to a lot of things. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. But I don't like social media. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't like social media. Okay. Anyway, I believe you have your own reasons. Yeah. So can I also talk briefly about your security company? Yeah. How was that also birthed? You know. We started Last week. Okay. Because I used to have a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. Like when I was an event, and then maybe, as I said, mm -hmm. the first event that I did, mm -hmm. and then I didn't know that I'm going to have maybe more than more than one thousand people. Me, my expectations were like maybe two hundred. Mm -hmm. Then they were like one. I was like, hey, mm -hmm. what am I going to do? You know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So about the security company, mm -hmm. again, I when I host the car. First, the glow in the back, I think that's that's the event that made me say, No, let me open the security company because okay. I've seen like in Lola we don't have uh, tight security, you know what I mean? Okay. The police they are there, but the police they're just there to monitor what's happening. But you need those people who are going to talk to you, be at the stage, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you be you have to make sure people shouldn't be fighting inside, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just said, ah, No, I need I think I need a security company, yeah. okay. Yeah. And do you have any experience? in line with just running a security company because mm. you have been you know exploring the entertainment industry you know just all those things to do with that so did you have any sort of experience in the security company you know like what was the drive i know you've talked about you know you know all those reasons but did you have any experience for you to actually start up such a company it's called capital security. capital event security mm -hmm. uh okay i want to say it was important also as a security company mm. Yeah, so I was asking DJ how do you run it? But me it's a different thing because that's just event. Oh, okay. You know, okay. for him it's well, for us we do C C T mm -hmm. cameras, wow. and, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alarms to cars, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. even events and all that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh I just told my sister to say, Do you know what I'm thinking? I want to open a security company. Mm -hmm. She was like, Okay, that's a good idea. So mm -hmm. what's needed? And I told her to say, okay, listen, said, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Let's try to see how best we can do it, mm -hmm. put money together and we'll Start running. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. So now let's talk about you juggling up work. You know, we have the security company, we have in entertainment, and you know some shows like Color Fest. Yeah. How is it? You know, like just trying to put things together. <laughs> I can yeah. just imagine. <laughs> yeah, for the security company, uh -huh. is someone who who's there again. Uh -huh. like, the one okay. I was Z. Okay. The one managing the security company. Okay. Me, what I usually do is that I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. So yeah. if I see okay, this I can make money, I have to do it. Okay. I go in. Uh -huh. So I told my sister to say, let's try to do this because this and this is happening. People now they are making events every day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So there is our Z who's managing the security company. But I also need to do something like I also need to plan this, okay, how we're going to run this thing. Uh -huh. And then for the record level, there's media room. Okay. Yeah, there's Kapandi's uh, media room, uh -huh. CEO, and then there's uh, Michael. Uh -huh. Yeah, so for them, when it comes to like managing the record label and the artist, mm -hmm. they help out with that. Mm -hmm. Then when it comes to events, I have someone that from South Korea, mm -hmm. it's uh, Jebus, mm -hmm. and then there's another one again, Kitu. Mm -hmm. So they are the ones who run. Me, I just have to be like, okay. Supervising. Yeah. Person. I'll come up with a plan, mm -hmm. and then I'll ask, say, how is it going? Mm -hmm. So if I see, okay, this side they're failing, that's where I go in. Okay. Because I can't manage the run this. Yeah. So you have been delegating work, yeah. right? Yeah. Wow. Then also, what of your social life? Looking at the fact that you have a number of things that you are just trying to put together, you know, being an entrepreneur, you know, I believe there's also another aspect where you also have to live, get to yeah. enjoy life. Yeah. Do you also have such moments where, you know, 
let's put work aside. Can I have my me time? Can I have my family time? You know, do you have such? Looking at the fact that you're a very busy person. How many time I want to eat my lunch? Complain. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat, but family, yeah, even my friends sometimes they complain. Because mm -hmm. you know, I'm doing three things right now: okay. security company, record level, and any events. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they'll call you to say, okay, this time you know we need to do this for LZ Port Twenty. You know, then again this side, oh no, the security company they need people, they need more manpower. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This side again say, okay, bro, we need to make this event. Mm -hmm. When is it dead? We need to go and secure the venue, you know. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. it's just a, I don't know, you know, just reach home, start receiving calls from Michael. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it costs too much. <laughs> I start receiving calls from Michael, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. From there, I'll start receiving calls from uh, Aussie.com, say, how are we going to run this thing? Mm -hmm. Is this happening this weekend? They need no one part. So, I don't know what they do, but <laughs> always people will call you, you know, mm -hmm. you need to do this. Apart from that, what I usually do. I like uh, food, okay. uh -huh. not watching, play. Play, oh, great. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that's like, you know, part of your social life? Yeah. Yo. Great. So ladies and gentlemen, we still have a couple of questions that we need to ask these amazing gentlemen. And I believe I've already found a mentor <laughs> who will be able to give me ideas here and there because, you know, guys, you know how it is with entrepreneurship. Today, we wake up feeling like this. Tomorrow, things are happening. The other day, things are crazy. But if we have people like him who are able to, you know, share a few things, nuggets here and there, I believe, you know, we can thrive. So we'll be able to continue our chat and just, you know, dive a little bit deeper and just ask things that we haven't just uh, asked just after this break. So stay tuned. We'll be back. Kotika TV Africa, New Age of TV. Hello viewers, welcome back. So we have in the studio, Young Age, <laughs> aka my mentor, my new mentor. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a situation where you get to, you know, possess someone even when you haven't really talked to them. But anyway, oh, yeah. yeah, you have really inspired me. So, um, can you also talk about... Um, people that you have brought all the way from, you know, different countries like, you know, Black Diamond, you know, I know we talked about it not being an easy thing, bringing them on board, but what has that done to in entertainment as well as just the Zambian entertainment industry at large? Uh, the artists that are from outside, I'll say Black Diamond, you know, those were the first artists, but I'm sure this year bringing uh, okay. and just disclose. Because my name is sure they are watching, <laughs> so okay. I can't disclose that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're bringing another international artist. Okay. And then, uh, saying the artist and who else? What else? Uh, how has that done to your uh, company and entertainment and just maybe the entertainment industry at large, bringing such people in Zambia? Okay, uh, bringing an international art definitely will have that brand recognition, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Again, we have attracted the little sponsors to come on board. Mm -hmm. So, these guys they can do this, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And uh, we have paved the way for Copper Bowl. So we can do it. Yeah. The soccer people can do it, can even Copper Bowl people, can we can do it. it. Yeah. Wow. So, now things are becoming easy. Mm -hmm. That's the way I'm saying. Because, you know, if you go to look at sponsors in mm -hmm. the soccer, then you see the event. Going to be in dollar, people will be like, ah, do dollar. Yeah. dollar. You know, if you say, okay, we want to bring about 10,000 people, mm -hmm. they don't think people will show up, mm -hmm. yeah. But now it has paved the way, and people know, okay, even dollar people come out mm -hmm. in numbers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great, great, great. So, maybe the last question would be concerning your entrepreneurship journey. I don't know what advice that you have for someone out there mm -hmm. who's trying to, you know, probably mm -hmm. also create a record level. You know, or anything to do with just entrepreneurship because you're an entrepreneur, you know, and also what you're studying economics and just you know business related things. So, what advice can you give to someone out there who's trying to set up their own thing, you know, trying to be an entrepreneur? Because entrepreneurship is you know being talked about day in and out, and people are encouraged actually to just pursue entrepreneurship. So, what can you tell people who are still in the journey trying to figure out what they can do, you know, and you know, they are planning on setting up um, something, but they're not really sure. Yeah. Uh, what I can just say is, just do what your heart tells you to do. Mm -hmm. And then, I won't say it's, it's easy, mm -hmm. no, it's not, it's not. Mm -hmm. You want to, especially like running a record label, it's not something that is easy, because mm -hmm. it's like you're managing human character. Mm -hmm. 
you may say, okay, I want to, I want this artist to come out in this room, and then the artist will say, oh, me, I've seen this guy is doing this, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So it's not something that is easy, but it's easy. Mm -hmm. You just have to have that mind of leadership and understanding, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. people come from different backgrounds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe you need to again be on the same page with the people you're working with. Yeah. Good network. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to have good network. Even the people you're affiliating yourself with, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you need to be on the same page. So mm -hmm. if you say, "Bruh, my vision is to go international," even the artist and manager should have that same mindset. Okay. You should know that, okay, this move, that's the reason this guy wants to do this, is because he's thinking of doing this at this level. Mm -hmm. For if, you want, if we wanted to like produce very big local acts, we could have done that a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But because there are certain things that we want to put in place, mm -hmm. and we want people to say, okay, wow, this is good. Mm -hmm. This is what Zambia was missing. Mm -hmm. So for those who want to start like, managing their own record label, I'm not saying it's not... It's possible, it's easy, you just have to be determined, you just have to have good network. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to events, I think events, it's passion. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then there's too much competition in the industry when it comes to events. Oh, wow. so maybe you may you may bring an artist, mm -hmm. you have to spend maybe about a hundred thousand and then mm -hmm. someone again makes an event on the same day. Okay. Wow. So you need to be ready for all that. Wow. Then when it comes to security, you mm -hmm. need to know that every everywhere you go, mm -hmm. people need security. Mm -hmm. And and if those security people, for instance, maybe there is an event happening and then maybe there is a problem, maybe at the gate, uh -huh. those security people, they steal money, you know what I mean? You need to be accountable for that. Wow. So you need to be you need to be very smart of how you handle such situations. Wow. So that's the only advice I can give to you. Wow, guys, it has been an interesting chat, and I believe you have been informed, motivated, and entertained. So if you have been seeing all these big shows happening in Dola, you know, Cop About at Large, and you see any entertainment, this is the person behind everything, and that's why I'm privileged to actually talk to him today. <laughs> so guys, this has been Jacqueline Makamba on Kutika TV Africa. Until next time, bye.